Racing Co pair as they move off left and right. On the left we have Red Six by Lieutenant Cy Taylor. He's in his third and final year on the team and is a former Tornado and Typhoon pilot. He's being chased down by Red Eight. And on the right we have Red Seven being chased down by Red Nine. are about to start their descent on the left and right. They'll have a closing speed of over 700 miles an hour as they descend to 100 feet above the sand. Red 6 and 7 will four point roll. Reds 8 and 9 will pull to the vertical. Here they come from the left and right. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for the fantastic Jippo Pass. Jippo's 
smoke on going for Red 6. Look to the right as Jimbo come back towards us with the white smoke on. Red 6 and 7 about to roll inverted and fly inverted formation down the line with Red 8 and 9 rolling around their smoke with the red and blue. This is Corkscrew. Red 9 as Jimbo moves off to our left hand side, they go into a right hand turn. Now keep looking over to the left, let's pick up the nose lights of Enid. Let's leave. Thank you. 
Hurricane was the first British monoplane eight-gun fighter, the first Royal Air Force aircraft to exceed 300 miles an hour in level flight, and the first production fighter with a retractable main and the carriage. members out there will remember Group Captain Peter Townsend, CBO, DSO, DFC. Prototype's first flight was not far from here in Woodford in Manchester on the 9th of January 1941. And the first production of Manchester flew later that year in October with number 44 squadron receiving the first one at Waddington on Christmas Eve that year.
take you to 13 and a half thousand feet and throw you out of a plane. Just like the one that's coming over the town now, coming into the beach. You would drink. It's a little competition, we, uh, a little game we do, just keeps everything lively. So after he's circled at 2,000 feet and he knows where the woodies are going, he's going to climb to 6,000 feet. During this time, each jump is doing something we call the buddy buddy system, where he's going to check over his mate, make sure all his kits fit in, and he knows exactly what he's doing. This is also the opportunity for the jump master to give a final brief on landing pads as well as formation to every other jumper in the plane. So every man knows exactly where he needs to be at what time and what's going to happen next. Now, that's the lowest indication of the window that you can get, as well as the window that we all know is something called an anonometer. This is something we hold on for a few minutes, and that gives you good average of what the wind is doing. So with the plane surface, one of this last one, it's about to climb up to altitude, where it's all the jumpers again ready get a follow through, get ready to jump out of a perfectly good aircraft at 6,000 feet, hurling towards the ground at 125 miles an hour. Not even that fast, is it, ladies and gentlemen? So you can see the uh, plane climbing now. Ladies and gentlemen, if you do get your pictures, please do send them in because we will look at them and we will try to pick some to put up on our Facebook and social media tagging you in them and giving you the thanks you deserve for taking these absolutely awesome pictures. So while the plane's uh, climbing, I would like to give out a few thanks. Firstly, to the guys behind the scenes that made this happen, you don't actually see what they do, but the amount of incredible hard work they put into this makes everything go exactly how it's meant to go. So can I get a massive round of applause for all the organisers stood with me here now. Secondly, I'd like to thank a few of our sponsors, without which we wouldn't have the capability to come and do what we love to do, which is put on a spectacular show for you guys. I'd like to thank EG Smoke and Eggs for the smoke that we're going to be jumping today, which is going to be strapped to the legs of the joppers. <laughs> Lastly, and perhaps most importantly, I'd like to thank all of you guys out there in the crowd for coming out. Because without you, we wouldn't have a reason to jump out of this perfect good airport and do what we love to do. So there goes the first one out! So coming in now with a free fall group led in by Corporal Haas, it's his job to assign the landing pattern, he makes the call and everyone else follows his pattern coming in. He's going to judge the winds using the smoke as well as having watched the woodies earlier and diving into the arena. 
last moment turns into wind. And here he comes, a massive round of applause for Corporal Hurst. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we can do a bit better than that. Let's get a massive round of applause. And here comes Private Hobbs, our newest team member, coming in on his last pattern, using Corporal Hurst's pattern as an indicator, he's going to adjust for himself, and here he comes. Massive round of applause for Private Hobbs. So ladies and gentlemen, it's not over yet, look to the skies where we have a team passing the 2,000 square foot with pyro and a British Army flag as well. Become good at this sort of thing to take at least 300 jumps and all the jumpers in the formation are highly experienced. Last minute, they're going to split. Then they're all going to come in at speed of about 30 miles an hour. However, Corporal Millerick, flying the 2,000 square foot flag, is going to come in a bit slower. Because it is harder to fly that. Right now, he is fighting his canopy. His, his uh, canopy wants to go down. And there's the Bayan downplay. It is speeds of about 50 miles an hour, last moment split, and it's every man for himself coming into the arena. First in, I'm with the uh, army flag. We are privately on dance, followed closely by last couple spit, and after that by last couple man wearing. And flying the regimental flag with immense pride, here comes team leader, Corporal Frank Millery. Massive round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. The size of that. And a nice, beautiful landing behind the smoke. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching us, and thank you for giving us this opportunity to do what we do in front of all of you guys. And please, as I said earlier, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and look out for our England Top competition. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Private Gray, and we're in the Cypress Army Parachute Display Team. Yeah, huge round of applause. Cool. Thank you very much indeed, Chris Gray. We got there in the end, didn't we? And thank you all so much for your patience there. Uh, these things do happen, and uh, very often they come down. That's what be difficult. But uh, what a perfect evening. What a glorious sunset. And, oh, just spectacular, spectacular evening. Well, we've got something very special coming up. But first of all, that was brought to us by Atkinson Sun. Yes, it was, and I will tell you all about them. Then we know you. You're going to have to be very brief, yes, my friend, because I've got airplanes waiting to come in and go upside down and do wonderful things. But uh, and then we will come back to that a little later on. But uh, enormous thanks to uh, their support from Abington for that. Well, coming up now, uh, another small pair of formation aircraft, RV4s they're called. They're uh, almost recreational aircraft, sort of thing that you can uh, make in your own backyard, incredibly inexpensive, really, really economic, you can go touring in them. But these guys, John Gowdy and Andy Thurston, have really done miracles for them. They put uh, various uh, technical improvements on them. The size of that flag is just incredible. Very, very shortly, and they've also chosen their own music as well. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please welcome to some of my most famous music, the Firefly.
going out. Also, just some outstanding uh, music, both the legends. These aircraft, you know, absolutely uh, terrific. Uh, well over 9,000 of these flying around the world. Not this particular variant, about 1,400 of these Mark IV. Uh, but uh, a really huge success story and uh, really loved by many, many people. Lots of uh, comfort in his big bubble canopy, great uh, uh, visibility, and a really good touring aircraft. <laughs>
ladies and gentlemen, was Brendan O'Brien's Flying Circus, assisted by Alex uh, Garman there. And we were just absolutely amazed at how many, uh, how many fireworks came off that tiny little helicopter. And but you weren't expecting that, viewers. Alex's very first public display as well. So very well done, and uh, not an easy thing to do in such uh, dusty conditions. Uh, well, it's nearly that time, so don't rush away. We've got one massive finale coming your way. Uh, Simon, you know a little bit about this. Just how special is this coming up? The, the, what you're going to see now is very, very special. You're into your... The hell? Uh, ...in the whole of the UK that's going to be performing for you. Uh, Cybertechnics, uh, based in the Midlands, they are the British Musical Firework Championships, Champion of Champions.